Hey, Grandmaster Stroud here, also known as Brother Teacher. Do you know that the martial arts, to me, is sacred? And there are hundreds of thousands of other instructors that have the same feeling. Now, with that said, my point that I'm getting at is that I will never show in a public forum or platform be it YouTube or any other platform on the internet, some of my most uh, treasured techniques. Some things I just simply will not share. And the reason being is that the internet has everybody that you can imagine searching and surfing the internet. And everyone that searches and searches the internet don't have good intentions. They are very gullible individuals, naive, if you will. Uh, they are very violent uh, individuals or who have a violent intent that are out there as well. And we as instructors have to be very cautious, very vigilant about who we share our information with and how we share our information. I give you fundamentals and concepts and principles of my art and of the martial arts in general. But I will never show you some of the most sacred aspects of my art unless you are very, very close to me and we are in a private setting. I don't even show all of my sacred and or prized techniques to many of my students because uh, it's, how should I say, it's not often that you find someone who is worthy of your instruction on some levels of instruction I should say there have been and I have friends who can attest to this and many many friends who can attest to this they've had students who have left them and they basically have bastardized the training they went out and they prostituted themselves and they have disrespected uh, the instructor excuse me the instruction and the school and the school's name by abusing what they were taught. That's not going to happen to me. It's happened to me once or twice before, never ever again. And I hold dear the things that I have been doing going on 50 years now, almost 46 right now specifically. But it means a lot to me. And when you take almost a lifetime to learn some of the things that we learn about respect, honor, tradition, culture, and just how to treat your fellow man. There is nothing like that gift. And you want to share it with like-minded individuals. And back in the old days, in the old, old days, some instructors only had one good student that they could share information like that with. They may have had 500 or 1,000 students, but they've only had one maybe two students that they could ever share some of those secret or sacred things with. It's simply the way it is. And also there were instructors, Chinese, Japanese, Okinawa, whatever, that have died with secrets because they wanted to keep the integrity of their art. And if they found no one worthy, it just simply rested with them when they went to the grave and no one knew it. I applaud these individuals. As painstaking as it is and as painful as it is to not share that information, sometimes you just have to let it go because you would be doing humanity a disservice by leaving that type of information in the hands of those people who are not worthy. What is your thought on this subject, instructors? or just population in general. What do you think about this? Should you share everything that you know and have learned, those things of value, with just everybody? I tend to believe not. This is Brother Teacher. I will see you in the next video. Leave your comments about this subject, which is a very good subject, in the comment section below. So long.